week, I continue my exploration of Havelock Island in the Andamans. My first few days here have been spent being completely bowled over by the tranquility and natural beauty of my resort barefoot at Havelock. In today's episode, we dig a little deeper and cast our net just a bit wider to find out what else this tiny island getaway has to offer travelers like myself. Havelock Island is one of the main tourist attractions in the Andamans. So there are a range of resorts on the island catering to different types of travellers. Depending on your budget, you can get anything from a hammock to a tiny hut that just about fits two people to a fairly basic hotel room all the way up to luxurious beachfront villas and cottages. trips I get to do some snorkeling but I don't always get to do diving. This is going to be my first time actually. Come with me, let's hope it's a fabulous experience. Snorkeling and scuba diving are definitely the main reason that people choose to come to Havla. There are a number of dive shops on the island that can organize all sorts of trips for tourists and barefoot scuba is amongst the best equipped of the lot. Located on beach number 3, on the southern side of the island, Deadwood Scuba has a fleet of boats and a large team of experienced, professionally certified dive masters and instructors that can help you make the best of your underwater excursions. I'm meeting up with Ruben, a Bombay boy who has said goodbye to the city life and now spends most of his time diving in the waters around Havelock. So I'm finally at the Barefoot Scuba Center and this is Ruben. He's going to be my diving buddy for the day. Ruben, walk me through the steps for the first dive that I'm going to take. Alright, so first of all I'm just going to explain to you how you're going to set up your equipment. Okay. Yeah, first of all, this is your tank over here. The B series here, this goes onto the tank. You slide it on. Yeah, about that high. That's more than enough. And you strap it close. Next thing you get on is your regulator. Okay. The regulators go on the right hand side and you strap it on okay all right so is that ready for me now yeah pretty much you only have to check the air now make okay. sure that you have enough air yeah that's a full tank over there that's okay. 220 bar more than enough and I, I see some flippers there are those for me as well yeah those are for you okay you can try those as well okay. here you go this is should be just this part because you're, be. you have yeah that's a good fit <laughs> you want to try the mask as well yeah sure how do i check that so uh, you put the strap in the front, okay. put it against your face and inhale from your nose. If it gets stuck, it's a good fit. Yep, that yeah. seems like a good tight fit. Super, are we ready to go? Yep, pretty much. Okay. The waters around the island are just unbelievably blue. It's hard to believe that we have such an absolutely incredible place right here in India. The reason Havelock is so popular with divers from all over the world is because of the amazing coral reefs that can be found around the island. Unfortunately, a rise in seawater temperatures over the last few years have caused the corals closer to the shore to get completely bleached and this being my first dive, I won't be able to go too deep. But there are other forms of marine life that still inhabit these corals. I have to say, I'm really looking forward to the entire experience.
Yeah. Right. So the first thing you're gonna do is put your weight belt on. Yeah. How tight does this need to be? Uh, tight and tight enough, but not too tight as well. Alright. Okay. Put it on like a normal jacket. Yeah, this side as well. Okay, got it. Yeah, it's gonna be a little heavy. Yeah, it One is. <laughs> Yeah, comfortable. It's all very, very heavy. I've got, uh, I've got my mask. Here. I'm going to put that up when we actually get in the water. I'm feeling pretty comfortable though, and the water is a lovely temperature. Once Ruben and I were all kitted up, he went through some basic exercise drills with me to make sure that I would know how to react, just in case something went wrong underwater. Next, we rehearsed a series of underwater hand signals a few times so that we'd be able to communicate with each other. And then we were up. Within a few minutes of swimming, we reached a fairly large coral formation. And even though it was almost completely bleached, it was nonetheless a pretty spectacular sight. Soon, I was completely absorbed in this strange new environment and I quickly forgot about the fact that I had never even been diving before. The best part about this whole thing is that even without any prior diving experience or knowledge, I was still getting to go on a proper dive and just focus on enjoying the experience without having to bother with any of the technicalities. Why? Because Ruben was by my side the entire time. Oh my god, wow, that was absolutely amazing. As a first time diving experience, that was absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'm a little breathless from uh, the excitement of it all. Ruben, what would you say? Was I a good student? Yeah, you were a good student. Not too bad. A little bit too fast, but still pretty good. Anyway, all that has got me really hungry and pretty thirsty as well. So I'm going to go get some food. I'll see you in a bit. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news in your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.